know, we talked last night a lot about the statewide races, the federal offices that were on your ballot, but just there were dozens of other races up for grabs, especially seats at our state capitol. KOCO's Andy Weber is live with us tonight in the newsroom. So, Andy, how did last night play out? Well, let's use a map to show you. This doesn't look very different than how it looked before the election. Here's how it looks now. Just two states, two seats flipped in the Senate and only one in the House. One in the Senate, one in the House. Only two seats total. Democratic Senator J.J. Dossett was the lone lawmaker to lose his seat at the Capitol. Republican Dana Prito will now represent Senate District 34, which includes parts of Rogers and Tulsa counties. State Rep-elect Suzanne Schreiber flipped State House District 70 in Tulsa from red to blue. It had previously been held by Republican Carol Bush. Other than that, Republicans still have firm control of the state capitol. We spoke with Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat at GOP headquarters on election night. We may have 40 or 48, really great night. The other candidates have performed exceedingly well. And uh, we've got seven new freshmen, if we win that one, eight, that are rock stars. I'm very excited. In terms of Republican newcomers, the House will have 10, the Senate will have eight. We asked what those newcomers will likely be voting on. So we put together that tax reform group, and they're going to come out with a really good plan that I think is going to be transformational. Just last session, though, the governor vetoed inflation relief that was passed by the legislature. Do you think he'll be on? On board with it? I think he's on board with any tax reform we can get. I mean, he's for capitalism, he's for empowering the private sector, and I think our plan will be right in line with that. It says legislation will also focus on education policy and bills that focus on families, with abortion now being totally outlawed here in Oklahoma. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.